And here we are again out on the boat on a lovely, gorgeous, sunny, flat, calm day. Or so the weatherman said anyway. Now we were gonna go out fishing, but as you can see, we're canceling the fishing. <laughs> what is that? No surprise there then. We, um, we're gonna go do the pots just in the bay and we'll have to leave it at that and we'll try again tomorrow because this weather forecast is completely wrong again. Yeah. They expected there might have been like a little shower or two, but I mean, just look at it. Look at it. Rebecca's not happy. I'm not happy. Right, we're about to pull the first pot. This is the deepest one we've put out so far this year, but it's gonna be difficult keeping the rain off because it's just that horrible drizzle constantly. First pot further out. Is there anything out here? I mean, the spiders are past here. Or past nearby. Nope, doesn't look very good for lobster. Uh, not lobster, spider. A couple of small lobsters. That'll be why there's no spider in there. But I think they're both going to be that just under thing again. He's definitely under, wouldn't you, sir? I think we should gauge them, the gauges in the sound box, just to get our eye in. I'll put them down here for the moment, just get the pot clear. We'll sort of, we'll gauge everything in a minute. Just trying to film at the moment as well. <laughs> oh, they've pulled the bait out, look. Have they, yeah. Yeah, bait's off at the entrance there. Next pot. See spiders in that one. Mind you, we did do one rotten, one fresh, didn't we? I think so. Yeah, we did. That's what we did. Oh, I say. Look in there. Yeah. Wow. No need to gauge that. Crack of that Look at is. That one. That's a male. Yeah. You can easily tell that's a male. Yep. Lovely. Nice. Stick it up uh, maybe on the seat behind you or in the box even there. Well worth coming here. Yeah. That was the uh, fresh bait, eh? Yeah. That was the fresh one because this was the rotten one. That was the fresh one, yeah. The fresh one's done the big lobster and the rotten one did the two little ones. Gonna gauge these, but I, I'm pretty, I'm sure, pretty they're sure they're under. Yeah, chuck it over. Yeah. yeah, just gotta get your eye in. That's all. And next one, I think you put the pump I think on. That one's even smaller. No, that was a bit bigger, one. not much, but yeah, oh yeah, it's tiny. Right. There they go. Right, if we can get the pump on. Right, next pot. And if you hear me shouting a lot, because it's, it's very windy out here, you hear the video cleaned up. So it sounds like I'm shouting lots, which I am, but normally it's because everything is so loud out here. But let's see what's in pot number three. 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 You're a poet. No, I didn't know it. Uh. <laughs> Where's the pot, Chuck? <laughs> it's hiding under the boat. Here it comes, it's just under the boat now. Oh, that wind, that wind. It's an orange. Yeah, this is my spider reef. Let's see if it's gonna pull the goods out.
Ah, uh, no, only one. But it's still got one. That's that's fine. One. Well, one decent one. I was gonna say. Normally, like I say, you get the real big ones out here, but it obviously mm. they come and go. That's that's not a bad one. Hey. Yep. Watch your hands. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, we'll take that. And the rest is all back, but they've devastated the baits. So it's only mackerel here. An orange pot for an orange crab. Yeah, they do like it, don't yeah. they? The orange. Get rid of this bait. That's that mackerel, and mackerel goes nasty after a, yeah. after a few days. It's alright the first day or two, and then it's just bleh. Now, this pot was placed here with some very old bait for uh, lobster because this is a lobster spot, or it was a few years back. I did well here, but uh, last year I didn't do well at all well here. I didn't hardly had anything, so see if there's anything back this year around here and if it goes for this stinky bait because that was some seriously stinky bait we put in there it is yep bullseye bullseye i should say a triple. <laughs> Look at that. He knows his stuff. <laughs> Told ya. Yep. Yeah, it's my lobster you. spots. <laughs> I say my lobster spots. I mean, they're just spots. I mean, like I say, last year I barely caught anything here. The year before I did well here. But we got that one right. Right. Camera's going off now because I can't exactly show you where this is for obvious reasons. But, well, we'll have a look at the lobsters first that come out of the pot. I'm going to put them all down here. That's that male. Look at him with oh, his arms. Yeah. Keep him apart though. Male. Keep him apart. Another one. And one more. One more. That's a telephone, this one. A telephone. Oh, that's mine. My lobster. Oh, this one's got eggs. I'll throw this one back then. Do you think she'll be alright with the um, yeah. no claws? Yeah. She'll be fine. She's got the little ones coming. Yeah, little baby ones. There they go. Okay then, well, we've got two then. Look like three. I thought my dinner just escaped. <laughs> no, we'll put that one. Right, next pot. If you want me to lift any pots, let me know. Is this the uh, heavy spider pot, you know? I can't remember. No, I think it's got a new rope, isn't it? Uh, I think you didn't put a rope on it yet. We put it further out, actually. That's the old pot out there. This is... There's another pot off that way. Might be that one over there. No, that's an inkwell, because that's the red one. This must be the heavy one. It's got a lot of rope on it, eh? Yeah. Well, if you get it up, and then we take over in a sec. Well, I can get it up, it's up to you. This is your favorite opening pot. Oh, lovely. The, yeah. the easy opening pot. Yeah, the easy yeah. access. Easy access pot, this one. I'm gonna spin the boat just so you don't have it under the boat. Just keep that down a bit for the rain. Here it is. Nothing much in it. That's. I reckon they're moving. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They've moved on. The spider crabs. And the giant one. Oh yeah. 
That'll do, drop it there. Now we are on to the shallow water pots. You can probably see the reef behind us, that black area, very close to us. As soon as you get that up, so we're going to drift to the rock. It's going to get us clear. Not bad one. our experimental pot the little one I'm trying to see how small a pot we can make that will still catch of this design for easy traveling you know if you ever go traveling anyway you can stick it in the car and take it with you pocket pot. yeah pocket pot that's what we're going to call it from now on pocket pot the pocket pot will it catch anything we did try a sm small even smaller one but we didn't have great success with it so we've scaled it up just a little bit and we'll see we can do anything with this one. Oh, weed. Yeah, weed. There might be something in there. Oh, there is oh. something. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Yes. Look at that. How our did that experiment first drop of our experimental pot. I'm gonna say, how did that get in there? Look at the size of that. Look Sorry. at it. I know. This is what Monster. I was saying about this pot though. This pot is designed to be really small that you could like stick it in your car or your van, take it with you when you go on holiday for a few days and drop it out and try and catch a lobster. Ta-da! So um, we're still working on it, but that's the first drop after the adjustments. Last year we had it a bit shorter. You might better see here we had i've added on this much about four inch to it because it was just not catching i think it was a little bit too low to the bottom and they weren't getting in but we've raised it just a tad and the, well there you have it the result a lobster on the first drop and it's a good one too nice yeah. big male oh. yeah there you go you're impressed eh? <laughs> i can tell though you're looking you're like you're like yeah, yeah. so wow. It's just a case of trial there, isn't it? We also baited this one with a bit of crab because we ran out of bait, so we put a little bit of crab in it, and uh, well, there you have it. Yeah. I'm gonna shove a bit of conger. I yeah, I changed the bait out completely, to be honest. Was that the frozen crab? Yep. That was frozen crab as well. So frozen crab catches lobster. There you go. That was an experiment as well. <laughs> ah, you can drop this one here. We'll just drop this here. The pocket pot. All right, last one of the morning. Top of the morning here. <laughs> and take the rest of the day for yourself. There's a crab in there, it might be a nice one. Looks quite like a big one on its own. Is that big enough? I think that will go in the box. The thing is, they get smaller as you lift them. Yeah. That doesn't need baiting either. I think no. we'll just leave it with that baiting. That one will do. 
No, I'll drop it here. Well, final tally was uh, five lobsters and it was like two or three crab. But we'll have a look at them when we get back home. So I just want to get out of here now. It's calmed down a bit, but it's still not great out here. It's brightened up a little bit, but it did that before and then started raining again. Right, back to base. Back to base. There we go then. Five nice lobsters. We did have six in total, that would have been legal, but obviously we threw the one back that had the eggs and no claws. And just a few crab in there. We brought these in because somebody's actually asked for a couple of crabs, so we brought them in a couple. But really good sized lobsters, these are real biggies. I say real biggies. Around about ooh, two pound lobsters, most of those. It's an excellent day. Good start anyway. Somebody else is very happy with the with oh, the lobsters. I should say, <laughs> cracking catch. And I was saying we got a couple yeah. of crabs. Somebody's asked us for a couple, so we brought a couple in, extras. So crab on the menu, and well, plenty of lobster on the menu. <laughs>